Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Welcome to my video series, Mastering the Nick Collection. Several years ago, the Nick Collection of plugins was the number one set of plugins for Photoshop and Lightroom. Cashing in on their success, they sold off to Google. Google marketed the suite for a couple years with a few updates. Then they announced that they would not be updating the software any longer, and they made it free to download. Around that time, I did a set of training videos on the software that proved to be very popular. Recently, the company DxO purchased the rights to the Nick Collection and announced that they would be developing and updating it. Although it's no longer free, it is nice to have a caretaker for this software because it is very good. With all the good things happening with Nick, I decided to update my training videos on the product. This new series will be more in-depth and thorough than the previous series. Please be aware that I have no affiliation with the company, I'm not being paid by them to do these videos, and if you purchase the software, I will not be making a commission on the sale. With that said, if you could do me a favor, if you like these videos, please click the thumbs up button and share them. Finally, if you can make a donation, I would greatly appreciate it. That info is in the description below this video, along with a link to my code of ethics statement. Let's get started. I realize in my last video, I mentioned that in this video, I was going to introduce to you Silver FX Pro 2 by Nick Software, but I've been receiving a question multiple times concerning smart filters and whether or not, whether or not the Nick plugins will work as a smart filter, meaning you'd be able to go back in and readjust anything in Nick uh, when you convert a layer to a smart object. And the answer is yes, and I'm going to demonstrate that in this video. I have this rather mundane picture with no processing done to it at all. It's in Photoshop, and you could see it's just the background layer. And I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go down to Convert to Smart Object. So you, now you can see that it's a smart object. And I'm going to send it over into Color Effects Pro 4. So I'm going to go up to Filter, down to the Nick Collection, and then down to Color Effects Pro 4. And once it opens in Color Effects Pro 4, you'll see that a warning comes up. And it says that Color Effects Pro 4 has identified that the active layer is a smart object and will now operate as a smart filter. The brush button will be deactivated and the filter will be applied to the current layer. So just click OK. And uh, to make this go relatively quickly, I think we're just going to add a recipe to this very quickly. Let's see what this black gold looks like. And as soon as you click on that, it's warning you that it's going to replace any filters you have over here with whatever filters are in the recipe. So we're going to click right, uh, yes. And you could see that it added a number of filters, a tonal contrast filter, a detail extractor filter, a reflector effects filter, levels and curves, and colorize. So there is our finished image in Nick. So I'm going to click OK, and when I do, it's going to apply those five filters to the image, and it's going to open up in Photoshop again. And you'll notice then that because it was a smart object, it's really now a smart filter. And as you look over it, you can see it says Layer 0, and it's a smart filter, and it says Color Effects Pro 4. If I'd like to go back into Color Effects Pro 4 and readjust any of those five filters I added to this image, simply click, uh, double click right on where it says Color Effects Pro 4, and it will reopen in Nick Color Effects Pro 4, and it will come up with this warning again. Just click OK, and you'll notice that our five filters are there, and we could come in and readjust any of these five filters. Or if you prefer, you could pick a whole new um, recipe or, you know, start from scratch and readjust the image from there. And then when you're done, of course, you click OK. And again, it will open back up into Photoshop. So the answer to that question I've received multiple times is yes. If you convert the layer 
to a smart object, the NIC series of plugins will then work as smart filters. And then you'll be able to go back in and readjust any of the filters you added whilst in NIC. That's it. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.